Rainbow Six Siege's balancing has been at the forefront of almost everyone's minds in the community. And with that comes questions as to what Ubisoft should do to fix the game. So in today's video, I'll be giving you five things that I think Ubisoft should remove from the game outright that overall would benefit the game. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my picks in the comments down below. And well, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first and arguably most obvious thing for Ubisoft to remove is the 1.5 site. Now, before you comment and say that the 1.5 is your favorite site in the game, hear me out. One of the biggest issues Ubisoft has been facing when it comes to balancing operators is their site selection. It's gotten to the point where if a defender is given a 1.5 site, their pick rate immediately skyrockets out of control. On top of this, 1.5s just dominate every gun that they get put on. There really isn't a reason to run the two times ACOG or any of the 1X sites over the 1.5 since they all have downsides. The 2X blocks a good portion of your screen. The ACOG is too zoomed in in 99% of situations, and the 1X sites really suffer at distance. So considering the 1.5 doesn't block your screen and it is useful in every gunfight you get involved in, the choice is extremely easy to make. Now, trust me, the 1.5 is one of my favorite sites too, but it is quite literally ruining the game's balance. And if Ubisoft doesn't at least do something, they will continue to add and remove 1.5s from operators until the game eventually dies. So I think removing it, or at the very least reworking the site could solve this issue. Now, remove Moving the 1.5 from the game outright could potentially introduce new problems into the game. Like for example, the two times could become way more dominant and basically become the new 1.5, but we just wouldn't know until Ubisoft actually tried something along these lines. They could also universalize the 1.5 and give it to everyone, but I think that would be a way worse issue because now the 1.5 would just be the site that everyone picks on every gun. After the 1.5, the next thing I believe Ubisoft should remove is Rank 2.0. Rank 2.0 is probably the most flawed ranking system out of any game I have ever played. This new rank system is extremely forgiving, so much so that we have hit record high champion player numbers over the past couple of seasons. Now, if you don't know why this is such a problem, this is due to the fact that every season at the start, you will lose eight ELO and gain 80. And depending on how high of a rank you were in the previous season, you could end up making these kind of gains all the way into gold or even plat rank. So this system allows decent players to easily hit champ in two to three seasons with little effort. And for people who belong in champ, they can get champion within the first couple days of the season being out. This is obviously an issue. It completely removes the grind that the old rank system used to have, and it makes champ champion, a rank that is supposed to be the most prestigious award in Siege, easily accessible. My recommended solution is to re-implement the old rank system, but implement the new rewards that rank 2.0 added. Also, I would limit the champion rank to only being accessible by the top 1,000 players in the world. This would make champ a legitimate achievement to not only acquire, but to retain. Because if everyone else rose in ELO and you fell behind the top 1000 mark, your champ rank would be revoked. On top of these two changes to make the champ rank more rewarding, I would give every player who ends the season in champ a weapon skin and uniform bundle for an operator with a champion rank theme. This would make players even more likely to be and stay competitive throughout the season because now diamonds and champs would all be trying their best to get the cosmetics before the season ended. I know this would be controversial for some people because some people do not enjoy the competitive side of Siege and they'd rather the game be more casual, but this is what I think the rank mode should be. It should promote people being competitive and it should be as competitive as possible. We are playing a comp shooter after all. Now, another extremely recent change that I think should be reverted is the Battle Pass rework. If you didn't know, the Battle Pass was reworked in Year 7 Season 4 or Operation Solar Raid. This Battle Pass rework changed the Battle Pass from what you all think of to a completely new system. This new system allows players to buy their way through the tiers using things called Battle Pass tokens. So instead of just unlocking the tier after getting enough BP, you would unlock one of these tokens to buy whatever tier you wanted. This system has its advantages. One of these advantages is that it allows players to speed run to what they want without having to grind through things that they could care less about. Meaning that for players who don't have time to grind the whole battle pass, they can still get the skins they want. However, with these advantages, there are some drawbacks. The biggest being that completing the battle pass is no longer really an achievement. And the best example of a battle pass, in my opinion, old Fortnite, the feeling of unlocking the tier 100 skin was completely unmatched. If you had the max level tier 100 skin, it was considered to be a pretty big deal, especially early on because it meant you played the game a lot to acquire it. However, with the current system in Siege, the tier 100 skins can be gotten in under a week if you play enough. Now, I know a lot of people don't care about this. They'd rather just get the skins that they want and that's about it. But I think having these skins at least be somewhat difficult to attain adds a lot of hype around grinding the battle passes. Trying to be one of the first to get the cool skin is very fun in my opinion. Another issue with the battle pass rework is that it just doesn't make sense. Why are 
are breaching charges in the past? Why is it so zoomed in that you have to literally use a map to understand where to go? There are a lot of changes that need to be made to the UI around this pass to make it even decent. And I would argue that even if they did rework the UI for this, it would still not be as good as the original Battle Pass. Moving past the Battle Pass, another thing I think Ubisoft should remove is Blackbeard just completely. A lot of you likely won't be surprised by this, but I think Blackbeard either needs to be removed out of the game entirely, or Ubisoft needs to give him a major rework that completely changes the fabric of what he is as an operator. Blackbeard's shield is obviously problematic. Having an operator that can completely remove a core mechanic of the game like one shot headshot is a major issue because they are damn near impossible to balance. If Ubisoft wants to fix the fact that Blackbeard is the worst operator in the game, they would have to buff him, which would risk him becoming more infuriating to go against and him becoming overpowered. If they don't want to remove him outright, they at the very least need to remove his gun shield and give him a completely new gadget of some kind. I've seen multiple ideas for new gadgets, and I even talked about my idea for a Blackbeard rework in this video if you want to check it out. But the TLDR is that I believe that Blackbeard's new gadget could be a grenade launcher that launches normal grenades from a longer distance than what can be thrown. Blackbeard would have two grenades for this launcher, and these grenades would allow him to destroy utility, and they would also be launched from his underbarrel grenade launcher, meaning that he would be able to kill people People from a longer range. Now this was just a quick and dirty idea I have come up with over my years of playing Siege, and I'm sure it's far from perfect, but honestly anything would be better than his current gadget at this point. Because right now Blackbeard is pretty much useless, and they can't do anything about it, because if they buff him, he's going to become overpowered and everyone's going to hate going against him, and if they just keep him the way it is, he's just never going to get used. Now the final thing I believe Ubisoft should remove is the Shattered Glass rework. This is a change Ubisoft made to Maestro and Mira that allowed players to melee the glass on their gadget to remove visibility. This means that if a player melees a Maestro cam, the cam will no longer be able to see unless opened, and a mirror window if meleeed will no longer be see-through. The reason I believe this change should be reverted is because it utterly kills Maestro. Maestro is by far one of the most countered operators in this game. His cams can be countered by any EMP in the game, explosives, and now by just a simple melee. Almost every operator on the attacking side has some way to deal with Maestro's evil eyes, now due to the addition of the Gon 6 and EMP impacts. This makes him very hard to justify bringing in your lineup because he is so easy to deal with as an attacker. I think reverting the Shattered Glass change could potentially help with this, because now attackers would have to actually use some utility to get rid of it instead of just being able to walk up and melee it, and then now it's not really a threat anymore. Anymore. As for Mira, this change didn't affect her much, but I don't think this change should be reverted for her specifically. I mainly wanted it reverted to make Maestro more viable, but this change did make Mira's windows less versatile because you can't just set them up on reinforced walls anymore, because if you set them up on a wall that you can't play aggressively on, attackers will be able to just walk up to them and melee them. So it did hurt Mira, but I don't think Mira necessarily needs a buff. I'm mainly just saying that the Shattered Glass rework should mainly be reverted for Maestro specifically. Anyways, that about wraps up today's video. Now, are there more things you think Ubisoft should remove from the game? Or are there any more changes you wish were reverted? Let me know in the comments down below. I know a lot of our opinions will differ significantly, so I'm legitimately curious to see what your thoughts are on the topic. Anything that could help the Ubisoft balancing team is welcome. If you enjoyed today's video, I make Siege content just like this twice a week, so go subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you don't want to miss the next upload. If you want to see more of me, I will be streaming on Twitch two hours after this video goes up, so go check out my Twitch and drop me a follow if you don't want to miss the stream. If you want to watch another video just like this one, a video will be popping up on your screen right now where I discuss every operator rework that I think Ubisoft should implement. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.